decided to move to New York because <clears throat> there's a big photography market and I could work and assist with uh, excellent photographers and uh, broaden my horizon spiritually and technically. I was always a bit the crazy guy that will never be successful because you just can't work like that. And when I moved to America, I saw that actually because of this, I will have a chance to be successful. The school I was coming from was very conservative and very boring and uh, I always wanted to put a little bit more into the picture than just a normal standard portrait. And uh, in America the people really appreciated that. I also became way more confident with my own creativity. It really helped me to be who I wanted to be. And that was basically the most important thing I learned. Just to be confident with your creativity and your own uh, taste and style and, and explore that further. And that's what I did, which was very nice. It's very active. I'm a very active photographer. I like to entertain my subjects very much. I want to move them out of their comfort zone. And uh, very often when you go on an assignment, you have to first shoot a simple portrait, but that takes me no time. And then we try to go more creative and see what else we can get. And that's where I really like to work with uh, my talents in front of the camera. I scream, I howl, you know, I dance, I, I have them dance and um, it is different every time. I try to match it to the character that I'm meeting, but it has to be very fast, you know, so you, I go with the flow very quickly, but I try to break the regular rhythm of a, of a portrait sitting, let's say. A good picture for me, um, it needs to move something in you. You know, you want to look at it a little bit longer. There, something needs to be uh, transported in it, and uh, I like it if, it if there is an emotion in it. If it transports some sort of a feeling and emotion, I think then, to me, that is a good picture, if it's well translated. <laughs> and when I photograph my cars or when I do my documentary work, I, I think I can find an emotion there as well, and, 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 and that emotion happens when, you know, the, the right light hits the right car with the right angle and I'm standing in the right point and I happen to be there and I take the picture and then that can also tell a little story. Maybe the common things between uh, my, let's say, documentary photography and my portrait photography is, is uh, that also when I photograph a portrait, I look for this certain uh, emotion or expression I get from that person. So I capture that when it arrives. And when I walk through the streets and I find that moment where the light and the car and everything around it works or whatever it may be that I'm photographing, then I capture it there too. So I'm always looking for this moment that triggers me and triggers my camera at the end, that, that, that thing that I want to photograph. I love to have a camera in my hand that doesn't you know, put me in a sort of a maze where, where I have to find my way to the picture because it's a very simple design. Uh, everything I need is right there in my hand and it doesn't have 1000 functions and it's just the simplicity is very beautiful and it, and, it, and it allows me to faster set that connection between whatever picture I want to take, if it's a human or an object or whatever, to, to me, right? It's like the fastest way I can find for my image because it's simplicity.